Hey Dawson, big news this evening uh, announced uh, exclusively to the official members uh, that Leo Cullen and his coaching team have signed on for for a few more years. But uh, to start off with first, uh, Leo Cullen has re-signed as head coach in SOB. Yeah, I think that's great news for everybody. Uh, we're delighted about it. And obviously delighted that we can give it to the official members club tonight uh, as our first announcement. Um, Leo, as everybody knows, has been a fantastic servant, both as a player and subsequently as a coach. So I think it was a, a no-brainer and we're very pleased about it. Um, Leo would be the first to say that it's not all about him. So the additional bit of news this evening is obviously that Stuart Lancaster, Philippe Contepomi and Robin McBride have also re-signed with Leicester Rugby. Yeah, I think, I mean, just reiterating, that's fantastic news as well. And uh, these are Leo's coaches. These are people that Leo brought in. So I think it's great news. They've had a great track record, very well respected everywhere. And uh, we're actually delighted. We're all delighted about it. Um, Leo, as a former player, obviously as, as a coach now of Leinster Rugby, understands what Leinster Rugby is about. 12 players, I think, have made their debut who've come through the pathway uh, already this season, Sean O'Brien and Tim Corkery most recently at the weekend. Leo gets it, doesn't he? Ah, yeah, well, Leo, Leo gets it. Leo's been through the underage system here. Uh, he had a couple of years away in Leicester, uh, which I think at the time Leicester were a powerhouse in English rugby, and uh, he learned a lot there, and I think he brought a lot of those learnings back. But uh, he does get it. He gets what the Leinster and Irish system is about. And, uh, I mean, obviously we understand that it's vitally important that as one of the four provinces that we consistently produce kids that go through to play for Ireland and um, giving people a chance and uh, rotating the team around, Leo gets it, yeah. Um, there's a big couple of weeks ahead, Mick, obviously there's Ospreys this week, but then we go into a Guinness Pro 14 final against Munster, Toulon in the last 16 of the Heineken Champions Cup. It's a massive couple of weeks, but it's just great news to get that out there and to start the ball rolling, I suppose, in a difficult contracting period. Yeah, I mean, obviously the pandemic has made life difficult for everybody. We're very lucky in sport and in rugby in particular that we've been able to actually play through this. And I mean, it's great credit, I think, to both the players and the coaching staff that we've had over 3,000 COVID tests now. We've only had, I think it's three positive tests. So it's, it's great. I think that it is good that professional sport is on television and people have something to look forward to. Uh, Great excitement, we're delighted. Another Pro 14, another Pro 14 final, obviously against our old, the old enemy, uh, against Munster, and then move on to Lon. I think that's what Leinster Rugby is all about. It's competing at this level, which uh, yeah, it is very exciting. Uh, and just finally, Mick, uh, one of the pieces of news, I suppose, that stand out from the announcement here this evening, uh, that uh, Robin, Stuart and Felipe have re-signed for two years, but Leo has signed on a rolling one-year contract. Do you mind uh, explaining, giving us just a little bit of the background? Yeah, well, myself and Leo have talked long and hard about this and uh, we were more than happy to offer Leo a two-year contract and for his own personal reasons, he wants to do a one-year kind of rolling contract uh, and we again were very happy to fit in with that. Uh, hopefully by this time next year, we'll be announcing that Leo's doing another year. So uh, listen, if that's what Leo wants, that was his preference and we were happy to roll with it.